for the first time ever, England and France will battle out in the knockout stage of the World Cup. The two previous occasions were in the group stage in 1966 and 1982. Who will win this matchup? High-flying France can score against anybody. England just efficient and ruthless and clinical. Should be a great matchup. I expect a high intensity, sort of like a Premier League game, end-to-end -end tennis matchup, unless certain things happen. But as we always do, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your predictions in the comments down below. And let's get into the video. So let's start off with France. I mean, France have been electric. Everybody thought before the tournament, World Cup curse, no Benzema, no Kante, no Pogba. They said, we got Mbappé. Kylian. And Kylian is playing like the best player in the world. Insane. Five goals already. He has nine goals in his World Cup history. Incredible by Kylian. It looks like nobody can stop him. When he gets the ball, defenders are frightened. Although Matty Cash did a good job, he couldn't contain him for the whole 90 minutes. How will England tactically set up against Kylian? But then you have to worry about Griezmann. Who Griezmann is... Once he leaves Atletico, he is playing like his old self. The creativity, finding little pockets of space, finding a pass from any angle. Antoine Griezmann is playing amazing. Then you have Giroud, who's now the all-time goal scorer for France. Shout out to Giroud. He's going to want to show something against England. And then you have Usman Dembele. And while Usman Dembele has not gotten a goal, whenever he has the ball, it's threatening. He can find a cross. He can take on players. Right foot, left foot. So... France's attack is deadly, and we know that. They have scored in every game, but they have also conceded in every game. They have not kept a clean sheet. This is this this is the difference between 2018 team that won the World Cup and this team. That team was very good defensively with Varane in his prime and Umtiti, who was still very good. Now, it's not that good, the defense. What is... Deschamps going to do? Is he going to keep going with Veran? Because Veran in this World Cup just doesn't look that good. I have to be honest here. Yes, he brings the leadership and the experience, but if I'm Deschamps, I would play Konate and Ope Mekano. Ope Mekano has been good, but Veran, not so much. The defense needs to be on point. And also the midfield, Chuameni and Rabiot. While they have played amazing going forward, they leave themselves exposed at times. So that's the balance that Didi Deschamps needs to find. Because if you're going to give these English players especially the attacking players like Foden, Kane, Saka, and Jude Bellingham, time and space, it's going to be very worrying. But no doubt about it. I mean, France's attack is just ridiculous. It's a Ferrari. It is simply a Ferrari at the moment. Try and stop it. Well, maybe England can say something about it. Yes, everybody will be critical of Southgate and his tactics and maybe his lineup choices. I think Southgate now has figured out what his best 11 is. Foden on the left, Jude Bellingham in the 10 roll, Saka down the right, and of course... El Capitano, Harry Kane at striker. So Southgate, this is simple. Don't change anything. But how will he tactically set up? Will he be a bit more defensive with the worry that France bring to this matchup? Or will he be like, you know what? I see weakness in this French team. Let's go attacking. But you cannot leave so much space. That is the key problem here. Yes, Harry Maguire has done fantastic, but he can be a liability because of his pace. And that's what France have. They have the pace to hurt teams and the finishing and the clinical ability to kill off any game. So Rice and Henderson, I think that's a good midfield. Yes, you know, I've been critical of Henderson, although he scored in the last matchup. I think him next to Rice, especially when it's pressing or when Henderson, he could come back and help Kyle Walker a lot if Kyle Walker starts in dealing with Kylian Mbappe, similar to what Henderson does with Trent, but I think Trent, because he's a terrible defender, as we know. It, it is just going to be interesting to see how Southgate approaches. I think if he goes too defensive and says, you know what, we don't want to concede. You're going to just be a liability. And that's what worries me as well. In these big games in the last couple of major tournaments, especially for England, Italy, Croatia. Yes, they go 1-0 up. Fantastic starts. But then they go too defensive. They allow the team to come back into the game. And then they lose. So if you're England and you go 1-0 up, you got to go for that second. You cannot allow any hope for this French team. This is going to be the key thing for England. They have all the players. They have the attacking players. It's fantastic. They even have options off the bench that can change the game. Rashford, Grealish, Mason Mount. <laughs> they have the options. It's just down to Southgate. He's a, he's a good tactical manager. Well, somewhat. Man. And you could say what you want, but he just needs to read the game well. The in-game tactics between these two managers 
is going to be the difference maker in this matchup. Prediction time. Oh, man. <laughs> prediction time, prediction time. Well, I mean, look, this is going to be a fantastic game. I could see this being a classic. I don't know why. Just something tells me that, yes, England, they didn't play the greatest against Senegal before the goal. Once they got the goal, the confidence. They started moving the ball quicker. That's the key thing here. Because they know that France are not just going to sit in a low block and be defensive like Wales did, Iran did, or Senegal did. They're going to take the game to England as well. So this could be a sort of tennis match. You attack. You attack. You attack. And that's what we all hope for. I hope at least. I hope I'm not wrong. And that Southgate just goes, you know what? Defense. Brexit style. Let's just, let's just sit back. I think if you're England, I think you have to go at this French team. Because they're... They're weak in the defensive department. They are weak. Yes, fantastic going forward. No doubt about it. Kylian, you cannot stop Kylian at the moment. If you can limit him to one goal, fantastic. The only way I see France winning this game is outscoring the opponents. Yes, don't give me this comments. Oh my God, that's a Michael Owen analysis. I'm just telling you this because France cannot keep a clean sheet. They have to outscore England. 3-2. 2-1 or 4-2. That's the only way I see France winning this game. They're not going to win this game like they did in 2018 against Uruguay, win 2-0 and have a defensive masterclass. They're not going to win this game 1-0 like against Belgium and have a defensive masterclass. They're going to out have to outscore England. And for England, I can see them winning in multiple ways. Defensive masterclass, being good in an attack. So this is a very 50-50 game if you ask me. My prediction is classic. I'm going with England to win this matchup just because I'm more defensively when it comes to France. I just don't think they can keep these attacking players for England quiet, especially if Phil Foden is in the form that he's showing, creativity, late runs into the box. Phil Foden is a special, special player. And Sokka, keep getting there, man. The star boy is getting better and better. The stars are rising for this English team. I'm going 3-2 England in 90 minutes. This is going to be an insane game. I could just see that... Harry Maguire could have a blunder, then Giroud could take advantage of it. I could see Kunde and Varane maybe mixing it up and so Saka takes advantage of it. I could just see goals. So that's my prediction. I'm going 3-2 for England. I didn't rate England that highly after the USA game, but I think they, now that Southgate knows, you cannot play Mason Mount from the start. You have to start Foden and Saka. I think that will be the difference maker. I think he's realized that these players are much more creativity wise, clinical. They can find a pass. England to win 3-2 and advance to another World Cup semi-final. This should be a great game, people. They have met a lot of times in the Euros, but the stakes have never been higher when these two teams meet. Should be a fantastic matchup. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And also, how many goals will Kylian Mbappe get in this matchup? Let me know in the comments so I know that you have watched the video this far. Hit the like button. Let's, you know what? For this video, we need to be hitting 100 likes. It's England versus France in the quarterfinals of a World Cup. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and stay tuned for the Brazil-Croatia preview and prediction video. I will catch you all in the next video. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe in this crazy world. And until next time, adios. Explain something.